Hey guys, it's uh, Ben from Acme Mowing, acmemowing.com, Acme Mowing and Lawn Care. Here, uh, coming at you from Oklahoma City metro area. I'm on, oops, I'm on the road today, as you can tell. Uh, it's cold as hell here. It's it's 21 degrees on my, on my truck uh, thermometer. <sighs> We're not used to that kind of weather here in Oklahoma. It doesn't happen very often, and uh, I hate it. Guys, I wanted to talk to you today. Uh, I've been watching a lot of your videos, and I know it's that time of year. Business has slowed down, and so a lot of you guys are talking about uh, goals for next year. You're laying out your goals, and you're telling us what you want to, you know, what you want to accomplish. I, I really love watching these. Uh, I think that I think that caution should be taken uh, when you do set goals. I've seen some people set some pretty lofty goals for themselves, and I think they're I think they're setting themselves up for failure. I've been setting goals all my life in every business I've ever been a part of. Uh, I did it in the military, uh, did it uh, before the military, I've done it after. It's something that my dad taught me a long time ago. My dad is a very successful businessman and he believed in goal setting and I believe in it too. Uh, but I believe that goal setting can be damaging to your, to your, uh, to your company as well. And let me tell you why. I think, uh, you know, I've seen people set some unrealistic goals, and I've seen them not make those unrealistic goals. I've seen it from friends of mine. And uh, what happens is uh, when, you don't, when you don't attain a goal, uh, you lose your motivation, you move your drive, uh, you lose it. You lose it all. And when you lose your motivation and you lose your drive, guys, you're dead in the water, it's over. You might as well give it up. And I've seen it a billion times, not a billion, you know, I've seen it several times, let's put it that way, for real. Uh, you know, and I've seen some guys lately here on YouTube set some pretty unrealistic goals. I just hope they're not setting themselves up to lose their motivation and their drive because that's how you, that's how you achieve your, your goals. It's all, it all works together. So basically, I just caution you guys. I'm not going to tell you what our goals are for this year. Uh, I haven't really talked to my son uh, about it yet, so we need to... We do need to sit down and we do need to talk about uh, what our realistic goals are for this first year. We need to come up with some short-term goals for, for year one. We need to come up with our midterm goals for year three and we need to come up with our long-term goals 10 years down the road where we wanna be. Uh, we need to sit down uh, you know, before we get started in March to do that. And I think that we'll probably do that sometime after the first of the year. And when we have that all, all that information uh, nailed out between us, then I'll share that with you. But, but today I just wanted to caution you about setting unrealistic goals. Uh, you know, goal setting is important because when you reach your goal, it's a way, it's a way to be successful. It, it, the goals themselves can motivate you. You know, if, if you're getting a little lazy and you had a goal of, uh, let's just throw it out there. Let's say you have a goal of uh, picking up a hundred yards, maybe and you're sitting around and you're halfway through uh, the year and you've only got 30 yards, you've got 70 yards to go. Man, I'm. how are we gonna achieve our goal of 100 yards? I mean, we need to get out there and hit the pavement. We need to start putting up more door hangers or something. It motivates you guys, a realistic goal. If on the other hand, you set unrealistic goals, I'm gonna use that same yard thing as an example. Our first year, you know, let's just say, our first year we want 300 yards we want to we want 300 yards and but and halfway through it you've got 30 yards or you know man you're going to be discouraged you set an unrealistic goal you know there's no way in hell that you can achieve it even if you get out there and pound the pavement and hang up all those flyers it's just not realistic you lose your motivation you're not going to hit that goal it's human nature guys and it's something that we all need to be careful of we need to set we need to set achievable goals. I'm not saying easily achievable, I'm saying achievable. We need to set achievable goals. We do not need to set goals that are unachievable. So just take that as my two sets. I am an expert in, in goal setting and achieving goals. I am not an expert in the lawn care business. As you know, I'm gonna find out as we go. So our, our, year, our first term year one goals are gonna be they're probably gonna be startling, startlingly uh, small to some of you guys. Uh, and 
there's nothing wrong with halfway through the year realizing, oh my goodness, we're we're going to achieve this goal, you know, next month, and we, this is our one year goal, and we've only been at it seven months. There's nothing wrong, guys, with updating that goal, saying, you know what, hey, we're going to hit that goal, no doubt. Let's let's up our goal 20 yards. Let's go to 120. Let's go for 120 this year. Uh, it can be done, guys. You can do it. I, you know, if you set realistic goals. If you set realistic goals, you'll have that drive and the motivation to achieve those goals. If you set unrealistic goals, you won't have that drive and motivation when you realize, I ain't hitting it. So just be careful with that. It's my two cents on goal setting. Uh, also, um, I wanted to update you on our um, business because this is our this is our vlog uh, that we're putting out. It's kind of a historical, uh, historically documenting our you know the way we did it and uh, I think it's always great to look back and, and and see how you did it and you know and see where you could have done stuff different and you know if this helps anybody if this helps anybody at all then it'll have been worth it uh, you know I look I look to you guys as videos uh, as how-to videos for myself uh, I do take them with a grain of salt a lot of times I, I look at some of the advice and and I try you know, I, I craft it to myself. I, I make sure that, you know, that's some advice that I believe in. So, and I suggest that you do the same stuff with our videos. I, I'm not saying, please, I've, told, I've said this before. Don't watch our videos as how-to videos. Watch our videos as, as how we did it videos, right? Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll learn what not to do. You know, in either way, that's a valuable thing. So anyway, I just wanted to update you on where we're at. Last week we talked about uh, our LLC, uh, EIN, and insurance. Well, we got our LLC from the state of Oklahoma. It cost me $104 to do it online, and it took a day. I put it in on Tuesday, and I got it back on Wednesday. Got our LLC. Uh, I was I was going to get an EIN number, but I wanted to talk to a CPA first. I went up and talked to a CPA on Thursday. The CPA said, "Yeah, definitely get the EIN number. It's free," which we already knew. Uh, and it only takes an hour, which we already knew. Uh, but he um, convinced me that I should use QuickBooks, QuickBooks Pro software. And to set that up, I'll need an EIN. And he said, go ahead and get the uh, EIN number, get the QuickBooks uh, Pro software. You can set your business up right now, you know, familiarize yourself with it, and it's gonna make things much easier for you. But anyway, that's where we are, we're at with our, we have our LLC certificate, which is awesome, 104 bucks. We got our, uh, uh, we haven't gotten our insurance yet because I had a couple, um, well, for two reasons. I had a couple comments. Hey, you should check out these guys. You should check out those guys. Uh, and I'm going to do that. His Cox insurance is $2 million policy. I think I told you it was a 1 million last video, but 1 million, 2 million, it doesn't matter. It's the same price. Uh, so why wouldn't you choose the 2 million? For a $2 million policy, came back at 500 bucks for the year. I could pay it in quarters, or I could pay it all at once, 500 bucks. That ain't bad. Uh, I'm gonna look at some of these other policies that you guys have told me to look at, uh, and then I'll do a comparison, and I'll tell you what we go with uh, when we go with it. I'm probably gonna pull the trigger on insurance in uh, the middle of February, because we want everything up and uh, we want everything above board and um, running by one March. Uh, March is going to be our marketing uh, month. Marketing March, as many people so aptly put it. We're going to be doing a big marketing campaign. We'll talk more about that in another video later. But for now, I just wanted to catch you up on where we're at as far as our business. Uh, that's the uh, LLC. It's done. Um, the CPA part is done. The EIN number is not done. It will be done on January 6th. And the insurance is not done because, uh, you know, it's still shopping around. <clears throat> still shopping around. So today, uh, you know, I just thought we'd just do some driving around today. Actually, uh, my wife sent me out. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't wait to get out. I'm, I don't like sitting around all weekend. So uh, she, she needed some stuff for... Uh, New Year's Day meal. It's the wife. Hello? Hey, 
Tony, where are you? I'm driving around, driving around neighborhoods, looking at potential uh, sources of income. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Just uh, looking at where we're planning on advertising and stuff, you know, trying to get a good idea. Yeah. Anyway, I'll pick up that stuff for you, and then I'll be I'll be headed home probably here in about half an hour. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you weren't dead somewhere. <laughs> not dead. <laughs> nope, not dead yet. Okay. All right. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye. All right. There you go, guys. She's got her thumb on me. What can I say? I don't mind it. <laughs>